All right, so this lesson is power of a product. Power of a product. That means that we are finding the product of two things. So say maybe x to the second times y to the third. So a product, a multiplication problem. And then we are taking that product to another power. So we're taking two things or more and raising both of them to another power. Now the trick to understanding this is to recognize that once we put something in parentheses, it acts as a single unit. So what we're doing here is putting a bunch of other things into a single term, into a single unit, and making them all the base of our expression. So just uh, as before when we had something like uh, a to the fourth power, and that meant that we were taking the base, a, times itself four times, when we're taking the power of a product, we're doing the same thing. We're just taking everything that's inside the parentheses times itself this many times. So this would be x squared y cubed times x squared y cubed times x squared y cubed. So in this case, we'd end up with x squared, x squared, and x squared, or x squared times itself three times, x squared, x squared x squared and then y squared y cubed y cubed y cubed so this gives us a total of two x's times two more x's times two more x's or six x's so that would be x to the sixth and this would be three y's three more y's and three more y's so that would be y to the ninth so the shortcut for finding this out is to just take the exponent and multiply it by the outside exponent because what we're doing is taking this group of numbers times itself this many times so if we have two of them here already three groups of two is one group of six let's take a look at a specific question we had here from a, a student who sent one in um, Annika was having a little trouble with raising this expression to the power of three her expression was 5a to the 4th, b to the 5th, c squared. So Annika, this is uh, kind of like we were just describing there. What, what's going on is we have this whole group of numbers right here that serves as the base. And then 3 is your power. So you really have 5a to the 4th, b to the 5th, c squared. Let me copy that real quick. Do it a little faster here. We have that whole thing times itself three times. So we're going to multiply it out by itself all three times. And we'll just use the commutative law to group things together so it's easier to do the actual multiplication. So we'll take our 5, our 5, and our 5 and multiply those three things together first. So 5 times 5 is 25. And then 25 times 5 is 125. So we have 125, and then we have a to the fourth, and it's being multiplied by a to the fourth. And when we multiply bases, we add exponents, so that's a to the eighth. And then we'll do it times another a to the fourth, so that's a to the twelfth. And let's change color here again, a little confusing up there. And then we have b to the fifth, and it's multiplied by b to the fifth and b to the fifth. So we have 5, 10, 15 b's. So that's b to the 15th. And then finally, we have c squared. So we have two c's there, and another two here, and another two here. So that's a total of c to the sixth. Now, if you're quick, you can catch on right away that this number here in the original expression, a to the fourth times the number outside, gives you the power in your answer a to the fourth to the third power, all we had to do was multiply four times three to get the 12 we got in our answer. b to the fifth, five times three is 15, and c to the sixth was two times three, six. So there you go, Annika. I hope that helped you out a little bit there.